Well, this morning, we are getting answers about a judge's decision to drop charges against Diana Mims. You probably know her by her now infamous license plate, Stamble. It is a story first investigated by CBS 17. Those charges all stem from an April incident involving a school bus in Durham. We talked with the driver, CBS 17, Susanna Black, who first broke the story, is joining us with what that school bus driver had to say. Well, good morning, Bill and Felicia. That bus driver says that she believes the charges were dropped because she didn't show up to court yesterday, but she says she didn't show because she didn't know she was supposed to. Supposed to. We spoke with the district attorney's office, and they said that they wanted to continue the case, but the judge said no and ultimately dismissed those charges. Now, I want to show you video from the encounter that that bus driver had with Diana Mims. This quickly went viral after it was posted on Facebook. The driver says Mims swerved around her and blocked her from moving. Mims was charged after that incident and the case was scheduled for court yesterday, but the bus driver says she recently moved and changed her phone number and never received a subpoena to testify. Now that prosecutors have the correct information to contact her, she is hopeful prosecutors will charge Mims again so she will get the chance to confront her in court. Now again, we have reached out to the district attorney's office to figure out what happened if a subpoena was supposed to go out. If it didn't, we're going to get those answers for you, but I do want to mention that Diana Mims is also facing charges in Wake County. She is headed to trial for that in September, and she's also being investigated by the North Carolina Department of Insurance for potential fraud. For now, reporting live in Durham, I'm Susanna Black, CBS 17 News.